Is there an independent association with high standards that will accept the certification that is being offered? Through our association, the International Association of Counseling Hypnotherapists, we have four levels of certification. We have student, resident, counseling hypnotherapist, and hypnotherapy teacher. We also have a system within the association where we approve schools. The Orca Institute is an approved school to the counseling hypnotherapist level. If someone wants to go further and become a hypnotherapy teacher, there are other things they need to accomplish to do that. Yes, we have set standards and our school comes to those standards. We also, uh, through the association, have approved some other schools as well. Uh, Every school can apply independently and is treated uh, according to the standards we've set. So to make it clear, the Orca Institute is not directly connected to the association, even though I wear two hats there. Uh, and when our school got evaluated, someone else did the evaluation that was outside of our school. What designation does your Diploma Hypnotherapy course give one? It gives a designation of Counseling Hypnotherapist Candidate. And in the title, count, the candidate would appear in brackets. Once a student graduates and is at that level, they need to collect 600 hours of practice with clients to get the candidate removed. It doesn't restrict them in any way, but that simply signifies that they have that much experience. How do I register for courses? To register for the course is pretty straightforward. You go to the registration page on this website, and uh, you'll notice on a variety of pages it says course registration. Just click on any of those links. It takes you to the form. You fill out the form, submit it, I receive that immediately in my email and as soon as I receive it I contact the student and uh, there's a standard BC government contract that they sign. It's all done online and as soon as I receive the contract and payment then the materials are sent out to them. What is the age range and background of your students? It's a big cross-section. We've had students anywhere from 19 to 74. The average age seems to be about 35 to 45 in that range, but we do get a big cross-section. Background of our students covers a very wide range as well. Uh, everything from the student who just wants to change fields and uh, has always had an interest in hypno hypnosis or hypnotherapy, uh, to the person who is already in the healthcare field or the counseling field and wants to add this to what they're already doing. Quite often we get, uh, for example, body workers of various type, massage therapists, uh, who do our training and quite often the comment is, this is the part I've been missing. What they're referring to is the ability to communicate on multiple levels quite often when someone doing body work or massage therapy is working with a client, the client starts to share things with them. And they have an opportunity to use these skills and communicate with them on that level effectively. What if a student doesn't finish a course on time? Can they get an extension? Yes, we have three extensions available. We have uh, an extension, the first one is for $75, they can get a three month extension. For uh, if they need more of an extension at that point, we have two others, graduated cost. Uh, but it allows a student, especially a student that's working, that to do it over a longer period of time. If a student has previous counseling uh, or hypnotherapy training, can they challenge the course and can the fees be prorated? Yes, uh, they can challenge, for example, uh, sometimes we get a student that's already a counselor, so obviously they've got lots of counseling training and background. Uh, 
we don't feel it's right to make them do the counseling courses again, which would be redundant. So uh, we offer that, and all they have to do is prove the training they have, and uh, we would figure out how to prorate that, uh, and they wouldn't have to do that section. Is it possible to take the basic hypnotherapy certification course and then at a later time take the diploma course? Yes, it is, as long as the later date isn't too far in the future. Uh, it's definitely possible because we realize people have different schedules and uh, it allows them to do the basic course, start a practice, and then either at a later date or continuously take the diploma course and uh, get their counseling hypnotherapist certification. Can you give me a brief overview of uh, the courses offered and what they entail? We have three courses available. The first one is the basic hypnotherapy certification course. And uh, in that course, it's mainly what it says. Uh, people learn basic skills, counseling and hypnotherapy skills to the level where they can practice, uh, as I mentioned before, in basic areas, smoking, weight control, self-esteem, things like that, sports. Uh, the diploma course is in effect a combination of the basic course and advanced training, which makes up the diploma course. The basic course is 285 hours in total, and the diploma course is 640 hours. Both can be completed over eight months. Obviously, the diploma course is more concentrated, referring to the 20 hours per week that the student needs to put in. Besides the basic and the diploma courses, we also have our basic course available completely on DVD, uh, which can be done from anywhere at any time. And uh, again, more information on that can be found on our website. Do you teach NLP in your training? It's a common question that we get. NLP is a very popular term. And most people don't realize that NLP came from Milton Erickson, Virginia Satir, a number of other people. They were the ones that were being modeled when the technology, as I refer to it, of NLP came about. Because we include so much focus on Ericksonian hypnosis and other related areas, you can make the argument that uh, we do cover quite a few NLP techniques, even though we don't teach a formal course in NLP. Is your school registered with the appropriate government bodies? This is a question that gets asked a lot. and. It can be very confusing. There's one government body in BC, okay, that's the PCTIA, and they have two levels of registration. They have all schools in BC have to be registered. It's optional to be accredited. In order to be accredited, a school has to go through quite an extensive pro process of audit of uh, showing exactly what they teach and how they teach it. They get evaluated on many different levels. It takes approximately six months to a year to finish that accreditation process. So by the time a school is through that, they've been pretty thoroughly looked at. And if they do get accredited, it, uh, it has some weight. Okay. We're the only accredited hypnotherapy school in BC. Uh, to clarify that, the other provinces outside of BC don't have an accreditation process. Uh, they do have a registration process. So we are the only accredited school in BC, hypnotherapy school. How many hours per week should be dedicated to your eight-month diploma program? About uh, 20 hours per week in the province of BC where we are. That would be considered full-time. Tell me a bit about your payment plan. Uh, quite often we have students that uh, are struggling to make payments and would like to do the course. And uh, so we've offered them payment plans with no interest. 
For the basic course, for example, they can pay to up to over three months. For the diploma course, up to over five months, and equal payments.